Time to try out this cordless vac. This cyclone. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Eric. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, it's good seeing you again. Today's video is going to appeal to all you neat freaks and gadget guys and girls. So this video is gonna be all about vacuum cleaners. Now I know that sounds a little boring, but trust me, stay with me on this one, it's pretty cool. The first vacuum I wanna talk about is the Shark Ultra Cyclone Pro. My wife bought this this summer because we were doing a lot of trips to the beach. Yes, we live in Chicago, but we have beaches too and we just wanted to clean up sand that gets in the car. We also wanted to use this in our house to clean our stairways, and it's done a great job. It's powerful, it's rechargeable, it just plugs into AC power, lasts a long time, does a great job, and I would highly recommend this for more medium to heavy duty type of jobs that requires a handheld back. But on the downside, Look how big it is. It is not horribly big, but it's too big to keep in the car. So if you're in the market for a powerful handheld vac to keep around your shop or your office or your house, even in your car, this is a really good one to get. But there's another one that I wanna show you guys. Now to be fully transparent to you guys, this is a sponsored video, but with a twist. Normally I have companies reach out to me all the time to do product reviews. Some of them I accept, a lot of them I turn down, but this is one where I actually reached out to them because I thought the product was so cool that I wanted to review it on my channel. And here it is. This is the Ferasla handheld vacuum cleaner. Now, where have you heard of Ferasla before? Hmm. I have a video of another product of theirs that I reviewed. They're all weather floor mats. They're still in my car and I'll give you an update on those shortly. And the name itself, Ferasla, is familiar because it uses two names put together from Michael Faraday and Nikola Tesla, both famous scientists that worked with electricity. Ferasla makes all sorts of products for your Tesla, and this is not an exception. As you see, even on the picture here, they've got a Model 3, or maybe it's a Model Y, but it's made for Teslas. This is what comes in the box itself. You've got the vacuum, you've got a couple of tools here, a crevice attachment, a brush tool, and a cleaning brush. It also comes with a uh, USB-C to USB-A charging cable and a carry case. And here it is. It's actually the size of like a narrow thermos uh, or a water bottle. It's very small. This will fit in your glove box. I'll see if there's room in the center console also. You could also store it in the trunk or the sub trunk, but very compact and that makes it very useful. Also, I like the fact that it does charge via USB cable so you can just plug it into your car to charge it back up. You don't have to go find an AC wall outlet somewhere. So already that's a win in my book. So this is just a cap that keeps dust out when you're not using it and you're storing it away. And then you pull the string here and there's the handle for holding it. So already I like the form factor of this little vacuum. Let's do this again, but with a sound test for both vacuums. So here's the Ferasla. And this is the Shark. So in person, the volume is about the same. They're about as loud as each other, but this is a higher pitch whine and this is a little bit of a lower pitch. 
And here it is with the crevice attachment that'll get into those hard to fit places. All right, we're back at my 2019 Tesla Model 3. And these are the Ferrasla all-weather floor mats that I told you about. If you go see my other video where I installed these and compared these to the official Tesla floor mats, I had mentioned that I would probably keep these in during the winter where there's snow built up where, you know, because it has the high lip on both sides, it would keep water and melted snow in here. Uh, but then I also said I would probably switch over to the Tesla mats during the summertime where I really didn't need all that extra protection. Well, guess what? I never took these out. I've been loving them. They cover the dead pedal. They cover everything comes up high on all sides so there's really been no need to remove these from the car so my only critical thing that I had mentioned about it was I really didn't like the chunky tread pattern on this you see it does have like a Tesla T design and that looks cool and all but I just was kind of skeptical about the chunkiness of it turns out I, w I was just worried for nothing it's really no big deal it doesn't really cause any problems I thought maybe because it's all this smooth surface here that it would cause a lot of foot slipping but it really hasn't um, no problems to mention with that so I have my crevice attachment on and I'm going to go ahead and start vacuuming to test it out For all you parents out there that have kids in the back seat, you know you're going to need a vacuum for your car. Let's try it back here. So to clean this, all you do is turn this counterclockwise and this comes out like this. And now all you have to do is just kind of use your fingers to pull all this out and the dirt's going to be all trapped inside this little basket here. So you'll go shake this out over the trash can and that's really how you clean it. Just wipe it down and again to put it back together, you just put this in and twist it clockwise locks into place. I just put the vacuum and all the attachments and the charging cable into the carry case that it comes with. Now this is the part of the video where you tell me to stick it. So I'm inside the car and there's a couple places we can try. Let's try the front part of the center console just to see if it fits in there. And actually yes it does. Fits actually quite easy in here and I even have the a uh, USB hub in here that takes up a little bit of space but yeah no problem fitting it in the center console there um, but what if you use that for a lot of stuff let's see if it fits in here take out this look at that it fits in this part of the center console as well let's see if it fits in the glove box open glove box So 
So there you have it. It fits inside the car. What about in the trunk? Of course it's going to fit in the trunk, but let me show you what I'm talking about. We're in the trunk of the Tesla Model 3 and you see there's plenty of storage space over here. You could fit it there out of the way. You could go into your sub trunk. I've got all sorts of things down there. You could keep it down there out of the way if this is something you don't use very often. So this product is really for you gadget guys and girls who are also neat freaks that want to keep their car clean all the time. The biggest selling point is the size. I like that you can charge it in the car because it comes with a USB charger and just that it's collapsible, it's small, it fits in the center console or your glove box. As far as cleaning goes, it actually does a decent job. It will suck up all the loose dirt and whatever you've got on the floor or on your seats. It's not gonna get the gunky stuck to the mats kind of stuff that you're probably gonna have to remove the mats and hose them down for. So these sell on Amazon for a little under $45, but they often have coupons attached to it that I would take advantage of, and I'll show you where to click on that here. However, if size is not an issue and you're just going to put it in the sub trunk anyways and you're looking for something a little bit more powerful, then I would highly recommend this Shark Ultra Cyclone. It does a fantastic job. It's very easy. It's easy to clean. You just dump it out through there. Um, easy to wipe down. I really love this. The only thing I don't like about this is that it does use a regular AC wall charger, so I can't charge it in my car. And also it's just it's just a little big for leaving it in the car. But for your office, for your house, uh, to use occasionally in the car, or just leave it in your garage connected to the wall charger, this is a really good option too. But for on the go and to keep things in your car at all times, this is a no-brainer. I am loving this, and I'm going to keep it probably in my trunk because I'm not going to use it every single day, but I'm glad I'll have it in the car when I need it. And that is it for today, boys. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you liked what you saw, you want to see more, please consider joining the family and hitting the subscribe button. And I will see you guys real soon. Quick shout out to you guys that have bought t-shirts from the link below. I really appreciate that. Also to my Patreon supporters. Love you guys. You are awesome. I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.